A very important element in Lift Designer is the data tree. Let me first, before I explain the data tree, I want to show you how you get these uh, grids in case you have closed them. So on the start you have uh, elevator properties, elevator hierarchy and classic 3D view. So we simply need to click on that to make them uh, visible. And what I want to do is I want to drag this a little bit. So what you can do is you can also arrange them so that them, they are next to each other. I think this depends on your screen size, whether you want to do that. But for the data tree, it's now very helpful um, for the explanation. So um, let me explain a little bit the data tree. So if I select the, the car, you see that a car element is selected and the car element is a sub element of shaft zero. Shaft zero is the first elevator. In case of a group elevator, we might have shaft one, shaft two and so on. And this is the car of the first um, elevator. And if I select these uh, corners here, which is the car frame, you see that the car frame is a subcomponent of the car and the car is still a subcomponent of shaft. So this hierarchy is almost uh, every time the same. And then you see, let me um, prepare a little bit. I want to disable the forces here in this representation. And what we can see here are the buffers. And if I select one of these buffer, you first of all see in the hierarchy that the buffer is a sub of object of the car frame. And we see here two green buffers and two gray buffers. The reason is that the number of buffers for this uh, selection is two. And green items mean active items, visible items, and gray items are ready to use but uh, not active and uh, therefore also not visible on all drawings. So, and if I switch here to let's say one buffer, you see exactly what happens that even buffer one becomes gray and only buffer zero is uh, blue. If you have lists, uh, it's uh, almost everywhere that the list starts with a zero. So the uh, first element is zero, second element is one and so on. So this is even for Gaichu, you have Gaichu zero, Gaichu one, uh, profile zero, profile one. So this is very um, uh, often. Also, I want to explain you this section here below the property grid that is called Quick Link. Um, Quick Link shows almost the same content as the data tree, but just in uh, a specific part of it because if you select the buffer the buffer is blue uh, the background color is blue and then you have elements that are in parallel in the data tree structure so one parallel element for instance is the cylinder base unit and you see here it's also shown up here cylinder base unit or guide rails guide list zero and guide list one which is the guide rails you see uh, here guide rails and guide rails one and the parent element, which is the car frame in this case, is uh, shown in red color as it's usually the first item. And if the component has sub objects, it's also displayed here, which is just the force element. So if I open this, you see the force element here. And um, if we select another component, let's select the car, then you see that the shaft becomes the parent element. And uh, yeah, you have all these many blue items which are in parallel in the data tree structure and the green sub uh, elements or children of this um, car. It's, uh, you must be get uh, used to this uh, structure a little bit, but the structure is always the same, almost the same, depending on the elevator system and it's very helpful to, to understand.